Welcome everybody back to Chrono Reviews. This time I'm going to review Mirai Tsunaga from Culture Japan and Dan Cho's mascot. It's nice that she got a Figma because I like the illustrations and I really hope they do one of the Millennium version with the mecha parts. Now it's a simple but nice layout with orange and white and I like that combination. I will tell you more about it later in the review. The layout is simple. Art here poses here this is Figma and on top there's Mirai as well now Dan Show was himself with the team and designed this package and he really did a good job because it fit the situation really good and um, the figure itself looks very nice he actually have toned paint job on the hair which I really hoped for so I'm really looking forward to checking this out here she is, Mirai Tsunaga from Culture Japan, Danny Show's mascot. And I must say, this figure is really nice. If you start off by checking out the sculpture, it looks very true to the character and the illustration I have seen. And those illustrations are really nice too, I really love them. And I'm also surprised that, like most Figmas, they have a little bit toned effects on the pictures, but in the reality they don't. However, Mirai have toned hair, and slightly toned hair I think too. It's just a nice quality on the rubber part here. And also soft hair. And it's nice toned effect here, and she just looks so happy and so cute. What I love about Mirai also is in the illustrations. The Millennium Mirai with the battle suit, it's just so cool. It does look, remind me so much, especially with the color scheme, orange and white, it reminds me of the battle suit from District 9, which is one of my favorite movies. And also, it's so cool with this Mecha Mirai, so I really hope they make a film of it. And also, not just that, she also reminds me so much about my own battle suit. I designed for this stop motion movie, movie short I made on my um, stop motion class as a project. The movie called Psyche. So, this battle suit was what I designed, inspired from District 9, of course. And now I really think Mirai would fit to use that battle suit, it would be so cool. However, she's not. Check out the right. um, articulation now. It is, of course, ball jointed arms elbow joints and hands exchangeable like this so you can swivel and move like this so it works like a ball joint the head is of course jointed on a ball joint as well and the midsection is also ball jointed the legs are on ball joints there are knee joints and ball jointed feet so this figure is nicely possible and she stands pretty well without a stand as well however more complex poses will require a stand so for accessories there are of course a Figma bag there is the Figma base and the stand there's also this extra part for use with long hairs that connects to the stand. There are a Mirai doll, which is because Danny Show uses a Mirai doll to play around with. So they used one with the figure as well, so she can have a Figma sized Mirai doll. This is very nicely sculpted and the detail are very nice as well. The only thing it lacks is the eye paint, just like with reinforced side. So, what with the uh, the um, Hayatagami Figma didn't have painted on eyes either. And then I see that um, Yuno and Arf with the Fate and Nanoha Figmas are actually painted on small eyes and everything. So it's a little bit weird they didn't do that on this one. However, it's still a nice accessory. There's also a laptop. It can be opened up as well. Nicely detailed. 
and there is a extra face, a crying face. And there is also an extra hand to wipe off tears. This handkerchief. And there's also the hand holding the camera. And there's a rack with extra hands, closed hands. Now this is very few hands like compared to other Figmas. So accessory wise, this Figma is very lacking but the sculpture and the possibility of the figure is great. No complaints on the figure. There could be a little bit more accessories though. For example, Mirai does love to collect Japanese swords, so a katana would be nicely in place. So for example, you could, if you have both the different versions of Shana like I have, you could display one with the melon pan bread like I have, and maybe you have a spare Newton on a Shana sword that you can display with with Mirai if you want, but then you would probably have to borrow the hand as well that can hold the sword. So that's one alternative, or you can make one or find some sword that you can use for her. But if there are more Mirai Figmas coming out, like the Millennium one, maybe they could include a sword with her as an extra accessory for this one. Well, a little bit short on accessories, but Overall, a very nice figure. Alright, Mirai Sunaga posed up with her camera, and I just think she is just too cute. She is a cute character, and I love the painting and the toned effect on the hair. And she was a nice figure to pose as well, no problems at all, and I really enjoyed this. And the size of Mirai is, of course, I always compare. She is about as tall as Rin Tosaka, which I have established as a quite a mid-sized, the most normal size of a female Figma, and they are about equal, so she is a mid-sized Figma of the female type. Not as tall as Aegis, for example, and not as short as the young Nanoha. She is a mid-sized Figma, and what, what was to expected about? And well, she is really cute and really nice. I can highly recommend her for all Mirai fans, of course. She is still lacking the katana, which would be nice. And uh, if you are after a lo load of accessories, she might not be the figure for you. But if you like the figure, the character, a nice smooth Figma, regardless of accessories, this is a really nice figure and I love it. I really love it. And I really hope that they will release a Millennium Mirai as well. And maybe include the Katana in with that one. Anyhow, take care and sayonara. And I highly recommend her.